Tobias Elwood is in trouble. Yes, Tobias, who is a, a so-called conservative MP, he is an arch EU Ramona, he is a classic metropolitan liberal globalist warmonger <laughs> who's been causing so much trouble. We've talked about him over the last couple of days. So he's the MP who made that video in support of the Taliban. It's saying, look, Afghanistan is now so strong and stable. There are no checkpoints on the road. So let's celebrate. Let's be friendly to the Taliban and let's go and rebuild the country. Use British taxpayers money and to help the, the Afghans. Are you kidding me, Tobias? So now there is a motion of no confidence in him in Parliament because he's part of the, uh, the, the Defence uh, Select Committee in the, in the House of Commons and uh, he's, the, he's the chair. And now we're going to have some successes because he's going to go away. So a couple of days ago, this movement started. Uh, the notice of a motion of new confidence in the chair of the Defence Select Committee, standing order number 122C. The notice of motion that the committee has no confidence in its chair received uh, from, we got four MPs from uh, different political parties. We got uh, uh, Kevin uh, Jones, we got Marc Francois, we got Derek Twig and Richard Drax. Uh, so they did this a couple of days ago, and now the, um, obviously the whole process has started. Rightly so. You cannot have someone who is uh, on paper representing the British interests and defense of this country while going around creating propaganda videos for the Taliban. I mean, it's not really just a problem as the Taliban. It's, it's, it's still a foreign country. What, why are you talking about that? <laughs> so anyway, Marc Francois is furious. And maybe he could become the next chair of the select committee because he's, he's got a lot of experience. Uh, he said, we lost 457 personnel in Afghanistan and several thousand who suffered life-changing injuries. So I and some of my colleagues on the defense committee were absolutely stunned to see a video posted by our own chairman <laughs> loading uh, the Taliban's governance of Afghanistan, not mentioning that they are still trying to identify and obviously yeah, go after Afghan civilians who sided with NATO forces. Also, not mentioning the fact that they don't like girls to go to school. That's the thing. In that video that we showed you, if you haven't seen it, go on the channel. It's, it's, it's on the list um, a couple of days ago. Tobias was saying his priority was the fact that there are no more checkpoints and uh, they are allowing businesses to operate you know, on, on, on the you know, roads and streets. But when, when they are putting guns at people's heads and they, they don't allow girls to go to school, women have no freedom, men don't have a, a democracy or free speech or anything like that. And are you kidding me? Everything's been boycotted, everything's been censored. And now you say we have to be friendly. Tobias's argument was that, well, the European Union have opened their embassy. So we should open their um, embassy and become friendly. Why do you keep following the European Union? I mean, they're not, they're not really the role models for foreign policy on anything, really. But uh, Tobias decided to come back and apologize <laughs> or, or basically retreat and say, oh, I didn't mean to say that. Uh, I don't understand why people misunderstood what I meant by saying the Taliban are good. <laughs> he didn't say that. But, uh, Tobias said, I've always believed that politics includes looking over the horizon and daring to explore viable long-term solutions, <laughs> no matter how challenging the problem. But with that comes a duty to put your hands up when you get it wrong, as I did in reporting my recent Afghan visit. So yeah, he's basically come and apologize. He's even deleted his video. It's a little bit too late. The only way, the only reason he's doing it is because he got caught, because of the backlash. If no one had said anything, but privately thought this is just a complete idiotic video, he would have been proud of it. He would have kept the video up. He would have continued with his propaganda campaign. These, this is the state of our um, British politicians right now. The British politics that, that we knew is completely gone now. The, the quality, the class of MPs that we now have is, I mean, at, on the one hand, it's a mirror held by the people themselves. We are the ones who keep electing them. But we're not doing it individually. It's the masses. There is a huge problem with political culture in this country. And mainstream media have a massive role in it. Um, and at the same time, the other parties need to be challenged. It's time for the big parties to be challenged. And smaller parties need to get their act together. They can't just come and be protest parties. They have to build their parties from ground up, make um, uh, grassroots uh, movements, local branches, have 
local council has been elected first, then run for the general election. Otherwise, if you just instantly run for the general election, you're a protest party. No one cares. So if anyone wants to actually focus on this, uh, become political activists for smaller parties like Reform or Reclaim or whatever you want, or on the left, the Green Party. This is the only way you could challenge establishment. Anyway, we're going to come back and uh, discuss various other issues throughout the day. If you're new to the channel, we come to you guys every half an hour, every day. Uh, the, the link is, 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 is subscribe to the channel. Also, speaking of link, <laughs> this is about the party. You still have a couple of days left to book your tickets to our 300,000 subscribers party. We're going to be joined by uh, Andrew Bridgen and a couple of other surprise guests. Uh, we're going to be talking about all the political issues of the day. And we're going to have a couple of drinks as well. If you want to have a chat with us, uh, book your tickets in the description. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.